You told me this cloud got 14 inches of... of, of well, this cloud, of course, this is all the same cloud. In 1978, they had the Environmental Modification Convention outlawing the weaponization of these weather control systems. But again, you ask the average American about it, they don't know about it because, well, the media either ridicules it or doesn't cover it. Now, occasionally they do tell the truth. Here's ABC News, weather engineering in China. And it just goes into them clearing the skies uh, for the 2008 Olympics. So those are just some of the examples. Uh, we also have NASA coming out a decade ago and then again last year and saying the Earth is between 20 and 30 percent more darker in the northern hemisphere than it was just a few decades ago. And that's not because the sun has really changed. It's because, as satellite images show, the condensation trails from jet aircraft are so numerous that they're blocking out the sun. But they're not just ice crystals. Some of them are real condensation trails. Others have had aluminum dioxide, barium salts, and even radioactive isotopes added. We have the U.S. Patent Office documents on this. A globalist won a Nobel Prize back in the early 90s for coming up with the idea of a sunscreen to protect the Earth from the sun. The truth is, it's a giant secret global program that's partially declassified and going on on a mass scale. So they're trying to restrict engine size and slow down jet aircraft and make us go backwards to, quote, save us from carbon dioxide that plants breathe and then put off oxygen from, while ignoring the fact that they're spraying the skies with aluminum that's deadly for plants, animals, you name it, not to mention all the other chemicals. And what's crazy is, they have national media come out and say, I'm a conspiracy theory that, 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 that we're engaged in made-up garbage when we're covering real stuff that's been happening, real things that are unfolding. It's just like the Manhattan Project. In today's numbers, it cost 4 or $5 trillion, they estimate. It cost tens of billions at the time. They kept it secret for five years from the public, and there was over 50,000 people closely associated with it. Well, they've kept this quasi-secret, and then all they do is ridicule people when they talk about it. When the TPP was being set up to hand over our sovereignty uh, and merge the North American Union with the Asian Union, I began to cover it. And they would have national media say that we were making it up and we're insane. When we covered other UN treaties, like the Rio de Janeiro uh, Agenda 21 from 1992, they would say it's insane, doesn't exist, even though we have the public documents. Now they admit, though, yeah, these treaties do put us under international corporate control. They will make the rules about what happens in the U.S. Monsanto now goes to the World Trade Organization to stop labeling in the U.S. You see, they go outside to these other bodies where our national sovereignty has been transferred to. We need to have a serious discussion, a bipartisan, across-the-board discussion about weather modification. Listen. They still say the SR-71, in service in the mid-50s, is the fastest plane in the world, flying upwards of Mach 5. Ladies and gentlemen, they've got aircraft that have been classified that are much, much faster. And that just shows you how we're in this frozen technological development system that the Bilderberg Group wants of negative growth. They want to freeze us in a dark age while the elites have access to these technological reservations and life extension technologies and that they get to basically ascend. So they're stealing our culture, our civilization, our brain trust, exactly what Eisenhower warned us about, a technological elite in control of the military industrial complex taking over. An opposite danger that public policy could itself become the captive of a scientific technological elite. And that's because we now know that L.L. L. Lemonster, the Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman, and others came to him basically with the larger globalist plan to be part of it, and Eisenhower rebuked it and said it was horrible. Well, unfortunately, this group has gone from being prominent to the Rockefeller and Carnegie Foundations and actually funding Hitler because the U.S. wouldn't fully adopt it. Hitler then failed, and that plan has come back here to the United States. It's very, very sophisticated, but if you're aware of it, it can be beat. But it's all about covert.
we bring it out in the light. They said Bilderberg Group didn't exist. Now they admit it exists. On so many things, they want to just end debate by saying it isn't happening. But if you just research it, don't Google chemtrails because that's just what the lay term. You look at weather modification, geoengineering, uh, basically terraforming here on the planet. You'll get thousands of university reports, Department of Energy programs. It's going on. It's going on big time. And they even put it in kids' textbooks now to condition them and admit it's happening, but tell them it's good. To adults, they go, no, it doesn't exist. This is how they condescend to us. So am I worried about carbon dioxide? Absolutely not. Am I worried about uh, geoengineering and genetic engineering and all these other crazy super science, science fiction stuff? You bet I am. Well, great job to David Knight and the rest of the crew this evening. Uh, that's it for this transmission. I hope you'll get this video and the other important pieces tonight that we post to InfoWars.com tomorrow and get it out to your friends and family and go research the claims I've made here for yourself because it all comes down to you. If you don't stand up to this, we will be completely enslaved. All right, that's it. Have a great evening.